morning, dear children, and welcome back. Today, it's story time. And we are going to listen to the story, Nina's Dream. So children, let us attentively listen to the story entitled, Nina's Dream. Nina was a little girl. She lived in a small village near Devi Agar in Konkan. Her village was near the sea. Her parents worked in the field. Her brother went to the grassland to graze their cattle. So here you can see Nina's parents are working in the field and her brother has taken the cattle, that is the animals which they look after, he has taken them to the grassland so that they can eat grass, that is they can graze them, that's their food. The older girls from the village went to bring firewood from the forest. Nina sat under a mango tree and watched birds, butterflies and clouds. She too wanted to fly like them. When Nina saw the fishes in the sea, wanted to swim. When she saw the sea, she wanted to cross it and see what is there on the other side. After dinner, when everyone slept in the front yard, she saw the moon, the stars and wanted to touch them. When her mother heard her wishes, she smiled and said, Girls cannot do all these things. Nina felt, Will my wishes ever come true? One day, a smart lady came to their village. She had a bag, some books and a purse on her shoulder. Nina ran to her and asked, Who are you? Are you going to live in our village? The lady smiled and said, Yes, I am Rutuja. I am going to live in your village. We are going to start an activity center for the little girls like you in this village. I also lived and went to school in a small village like this. Nina was happy. She held Rutuja's hand and took her home. She offered her some tea and lattus. Rutuja.
just said, Thank you, Nina. Then she told Nina, You know, Nina, I am a pilot. But I have left my job because I want to teach different things to little girls from villages. So Nina said, A pilot? Really? Nina was jumping with joy. Then she told her mother, See mother, girls can fly. Ruthu just smiled and said, They can sail across the ocean too. Mother too was very happy. Rina ran out to tell everyone about the new activity center that Rutuja had come to start. Now that you know the story, children, I want you to repeat the story after me. So first you are going to listen and then repeat. Nina was a little girl. She lived in a small village near Divyagar in Konkan. Her parents worked in the field. Her village was near the sea. Her brother went to the grassland to graze their cattle. The older girls from her lane went to bring firewood from the forest. Nina sat under a mango tree and watched the birds, butterflies and clouds. She too wanted to fly like them. When she saw fishes in the sea, she wanted to swim. When she saw the sea, she wanted to cross it and see what is there on the other side. After dinner, when everyone slept in the front yard, she saw the moon, the stars and wanted to touch them. When her mother heard her wishes, she smiled and said, Girls cannot do all these things. Nina felt, Will my wishes ever come true? One day, a smart lady came to their village. She had a bag, some books and a purse on her shoulder. Nina ran to her and asked, Who are you? Are you going to live in our village? The lady smiled.
smiled and said, Yes, I am Rutuja. I am going to live in your village. We are going to start an activity center here for the little girls like you. I also lived and went to school in a small village like this. Nina was happy. She held Rutuja's hand and took her home. She offered her some tea and laddus. Rutuja said, Thank you, Nina. I am a pilot. But I have left the job because I want to teach different things to the little girls from villages. A pilot? Really? Nina was jumping with joy. Be mother! Girls can fly! Rutuja smiled and said, They can sail across the ocean too. Mother too was very happy. Nina ran out to tell everyone about the new activity center. Okay, children, now you will repeat the reading once again so that you will be able to read correctly. Now let's complete this exercise. Nina's dream, words and their meanings. The first word you have here is cattle. Cattle means farm animals like cows and bulls. The animals which farmers keep for help in their farm. Graze means to feed on grass. Pilot, a person who flies an aircraft or operates a ship. Activity center is a place where different activities take place. Now, let's move on to our next exercise. Complete the following sentences by using the words and phrases given in the box. Here you have the first one. Nina was a little girl. You have the word a little girl out here in the box. Nina lived in a village. Her parents worked in the field. Her brother went to the grassland to graze their cattle. The older girls went to the forest to bring firewood. One day, a smart lady came to the village. The smart lady was a pilot. Find the opposite words of the following from the story. Far, near, back, front, younger, older, big, small, false, true, end, start, sad, happy, old, new, go and come. 
rewrite the sentences using capital letters, full stops and question marks. You will complete these exercises children in your English notebooks. Answer in one sentence. Where did Nina sit and watch the birds, butterflies and clouds? Nina sat under a mango tree and watched the birds, butterflies and clouds. What did Nina want to do when she saw fishes in the sea? When Nina saw fishes in the sea, she wanted to swim like them. What did Nina want to do when she saw the sea? When Nina saw the sea, she wanted to cross it and see what is there on the other side. What was the name of the smart lady? The name of the smart lady was Rutuja. Was Rutuja a pilot? Yes, Rutuja was a pilot. Why did Nina jump with joy? Nina jumped with joy because she knew her dreams could come true if she worked hard. Yes, my dear children, you must not stop dreaming because when you dream, it makes you work hard. So never stop dreaming. Dream high but work hard to get your dreams fulfilled. Now match the statement with the pictures. This exercise, children, you will complete on your own. Thank you. Have a nice day.